Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. Hey amazing people, we are back again with the next lab that is a user rate limiting. So we will access this lab. Broken brute force uh, protection, multiple credentials per request. So this is where we can uh, tell that in one request we are going to give multiple credentials to break the brute force protection. Okay. Uh, this lab is vulnerable due to a uh, logic flaw in its brute force protection to solve the lab uh, brute force password then access his account page okay so we got the victim's username and we uh, have the list of passwords here already so these are the list of passwords so uh, we are going to give this each and every list of password and we we are going to check that okay let us uh, directly access the lab Control C before that I took the username of the of the victim. Click on my account and here username and A B C D just like that. I'm giving a random password. Login. It says invalid username or password. Let me give it again. Uh, let us see if I get uh, any different message will come or not. Okay, you have made too many incorrect login attempts. Please try again in one minute. So this is the same message that we got previously, but try giving, try following the same previous method what we have followed in the previous lab and check. But I already know that this is not going to work. So as this is an expert level lab, uh, if you can see here, this is an expert level lab. Uh, but this is just going with the one go that's all so le let us go to I will explain you why it is different uh, because uh, let me go to the proxy proxy history and here if you see this uh, post request so here uh, everything is going in a uh, in a different uh, way the MIME type will be uh, uh, JSON okay so this is a JSON format one so here in this place of one password, we are going to, you know, uh, keep a comma and give n number of passwords at once. And let us see if we get, if we are able to log in. Let me take the, this to the repeater and hit on send invalid username or password because one minute is completed from the previous one. So here we are going to give a comma and this way so this way we are going to give all the different uh, you know things again and again let me show you that thing so here is the thing which i have written all these things in one go and i have uh, given a square bracket before and also i have given a square bracket after okay so control a control c let me give control v so all these passwords will be submitted in one request itself for this username okay uh, if everything is right we should return we should get the uh, 302 uh, response uh, as we are getting every time just hit on send yo we got 302 response but we are not sure which password uh, is the right one here okay uh, you got it right so which password is the right one there is a right password here and it's checking with all these passwords but we are not sure which password is the right one so in this lab we are not going to find out the right password but we are going to directly log in just uh, show response in the browser copy and we are going to take this response to the browser and paste so it will automatically submit the request and we have logged in but this lab we are not going to understand what exactly the password is but with the with the help of that list and with the help of that json format uh, we have planned a different kind of attack to uh, submit all the passwords all the list of passwords in one particular request that's all okay so congratulations you have solved the lab and have a great day